We've made it to the double digit. We made it to the double digits. Can you believe that? We've been married 10 whole years. A couple of people ask us on Instagram, hey, what is your secret? How do you do it? Bro, there's no secret, and I have no idea how we do it. Yeah, just, I don't know. It just happened. Our relationship definitely got stronger. After kids. We, after kids. Yes. Yes. yes, when we multiply, something happens. So if you're yeah. thinking of breaking up, just like. Oh, have baby. Kids. You know? Have a baby, yes. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> right now, it is dinner time, and I am going to be making. Tower of Merchant. Yeah. No, it's like a stir fry noodles, but it just tastes really good with mar maruchan noodles. Uh, I'll show you guys very quickly how I make it. Today we have other plans. We still need to like get stuff going around the house. We're almost decorated and everything, Stay. but we need to hang the things. So we need to buy things to hang the things. And you guys are gonna help us out. But before we do that, we need our energy and we need to eat. Please. Mama always used to say that those instant noodles is like eating cardboard. I don't know how legit that is. And I'm if you sure. eat them, they stay in your system for like five years or some ridiculous thing like that. That's what they say. I'm starting off with the broccoli. I don't know what I'm gonna make into this broccoli yet, but we need to use this broccoli. chicken I finally decided what I'm gonna do with the broccoli you know how like beef and broccoli this is gonna be sweet and sour chicken with broccoli there's a reason why Chinese people don't do that I don't think it's gonna be that good but I trust your instincts why would it not be good I don't know how, when, when have you seen sweet sour when, when are these fries from uh, yesterday it is 20 24 if you haven't bought an air fryer by now bro I don't know if I tell you get one now or just don't do it anymore I know like, I don't know what I did before an air fryer. Why are you using that finger? Why don't you use the index finger like a normal person? You know what? I don't know. Are you trying to say something? Yeah, I don't know. It's like a subcon subconscious way of saying, <laughs> you know, flipping you. I guess, off. maybe. I wish I wasn't cooking. <laughs> just kidding. I, I, I am enjoying this. In my new kitchen, cooking is just so much fun now. Wow. Oh yeah, my Maruchan <laughs> tower. Put them right here. We don't want to waste the delicious pot flavored water. You can drink it as a, yeah. like, like a, a little miso soup. Maple leaf miso soup, correct. Make sure we get all that delicious juice. Bam! Wow. Oh, if you could smell this. Come on, baby. The noodles are, are ready. I'm actually out of my Asian seasonings. I, all I put was soy sauce, poison, and some fish sauce and sesame oil. Look at this guy. See, this is why you have to pay attention to this guy. He's playing next to me. Why are you doing this, bro? Yeah, we need to, with him, like with the girls, we never had that issue. They, they knew not to go in here, but he does not listen. He, we say no and he doesn't listen. Like we have to get those locks for the cabinets first. No, 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 mister. Get out of here. This is just first dinner, bro. I still gotta have second dinner. That's why we're, we are the way we are. We're, we my brother in Christ, weight. I really lost five pounds. How many have you lost? Yeah, but you can lose more if you stop eating I'm a winner. Chicken I don't lose. Chicken dinner. Oh, Chicken dinner. <laughs> He's struggling to get out. Good job. High five. Whoa, you're recording? Okay, hey, dinner's I'm ready. Recording. Look at this. This looks like something you get at Panda Express. The ramen was a game changer. Why are you <laughs> running me over? <laughs> I'm in the corner, bro. What are you? What? Ow, oh, that hurt. Hey, I'm gonna pull you over. You have fake license plates. Who's little people? Hey, I need to see papers and registration. Yeah, um. Can I have some? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, you want a broccoli? I want a kiss. No, de bolita. No, besito bolita. It, it, and you know that for this authentic ass Asian meal, you gotta eat with the authentic. Whoa. I, sorry. Not me. I'm gonna go with the authentic fork. Okay, so it's currently date night. I'm getting ready. I really like very rosy cheeks. 
But something I love even more than rosy cheeks is smelling amazing. Which leads me to talk about this amazing brand that you guys already know, that we love and adore. It's called Dossier. You've heard us talk about Dossier in the past. By now you know we love this brand. Now, something I really want to mention really quick is how I found my scent. And yes, yes I like a lot of scents, but this scent right here. Found. It's not that I just like it, it's that currently loves it. It's probably, like I even want it for me. Oh my gosh, what is that one called? This one is Everybody. musky green tea and is based on Crete Blue Mountain Water, something like that. That's a $340 perfume. Now imagine how much you have to spend to find the right one. I already had 15 different dossier bottles and this is the one that I know for sure Karini likes yes. and I like. Do the math, 340 something to find the one. I'm already 45,000, sorry. <laughs> I'm already $4,500 in. Just to find that perfect yes. scent. Dacia is a brand that specializes in recreating your favorite designer brands, but at a fraction of the cost. So this time around, the three scents that I got is Fruity Brown Sugar, Woody Fresia, inspired by Armani C. That's a very popular one, and it smells absolutely identical to it. And the Floral Lavender. My favorite of these three this time was the Fruity Brown Sugar, which is inspired by YSL's Mon Paris. That's Mon also my favorite. Mon Paris. Mon Paris. Mon Paris et le Parfum. This is the packaging it comes in. Very giftable. Mm -hmm. Very easy to wrap because it's like a perfect little square shape. And they all come with their little note cards, which tells you what scent it's inspired by, or if it's an original, because Dossier also has their original fragrances. And it has a concentration, which means how much oil is in it. The more oil, the more it lasts yes, throughout exactly. the day. And this one is 18%, and that is that's very high. That's very good. So that these last so long. Fun fact: My dad wants to start buying them and sell them in Mexico because the night before we left uh, to a party one time, I was like, "Hey, dad, spray two times," mm -hmm. and then we left, and then we came back, and then he put the shirt and we're like, "Man, this still it, is yeah. it's still on." And now he wants to buy them it, on the website, and he wants to take it to Mexico and sell them there. Mm -hmm. Which hey, it's not a bad idea. Honestly, mm -hmm. they're actually that good. They are really good, you guys. If you haven't tried it yet, please get on this. Now you can smell good on a budget. Instead of having one scent, you can have like five, seven, I know. ten. We have yeah. fifteen right now. Yeah. And it took me fifteen to find the one that I know for sure I'll be getting more and more often because that's the one that makes Karina fall more in love with me. So do yourself a favor and go and check them out. And remember to use our code. It'll be right here. It's very use important it. that yes. you use our very code. Important. Use our code. Mm -hmm. You'll get a nice discount. You can yeah. even buy one more perfume with our discount. Honestly. Remember, dossier.com, that's the site, they have the highs, they have the lows. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check them out, and thank you, Dossier, for sponsoring today's video. It's always a pleasure, we can wait for the next video. Bye! Hey guys, it's the day before Valentine's. I didn't even realize Valentine's was coming up. I got too much on my plate, but anyway, I, I really want to make the girls like a little Valentine's Day basket. So I woke up relatively early. I woke up at like eight. I'm outside of Burlington. I'm actually waiting for TJ Maxx to open. I found the, the best little like shop area. They got TJ Maxx, Ross, Five for Less, Dollar Store, Big Lots, like all in one little area. So I think I can make a pretty good basket for the girls for the low. We'll find out. TJ Maxx is not open yet, but Burlington is. So I'm gonna check it out. I'm getting this for me because it's also Valentine's for me. And the girls already outgrew all their pajamas, so I need to get them more. This is the only one I could find for five-year-olds. Oh my gosh, it's not even five, it's six. But it's really soft, and I know Victoria will like this for pajamas. I was trying to steal and it didn't work. They forgot to take one of the tags out. $30 and I got three like sets of clothes, so I think that's a pretty good deal. I think TJ Maxx is now open, so that's gonna be my next stop. They opened at 9.30 and all the senoras, including myself, are the first to be here. I was so busy getting stuff for the girls, I totally forgot I need to get something for Max. Like, he just seems so little to me to get a Valentine's basket, but he does need new clothes. I'm gonna get him this boho outfit. Shake. It's perfect for him. 
next stop and I think my final stop because they have Michaels they have big lots and dollar store I'm tempted but I, I should stop so I'm sure these are like super cheap perfumes but they love perfume after a shower like they always use mine but it'd be cool if they have their own so I'm gonna give each of the girls their own because five dollars oh my gosh I'm gonna get this one for Victoria and this one for Olivia I honestly thought I was just gonna make like a little basket, but this is already over my budget. But, you know, I wanna make the basket look pretty. And the reason I decided to do these baskets is because Victoria's five years old. And for me, my earliest memory of like Valentine's is around that age, four and five years old. My mom, like every year, she would make me Valentine's basket. Like for every holiday, she'd do something really cute for me. And I remember it and it's like, a special memory for me so I want to do that with my kids but I have three kids so it gets expensive if it was just Victoria or you know like Olivia Max <laughs> honestly it would be so cheap but holy crap no wonder my mom gave me like really big baskets and all of this but with the three kids holy moly so Enrique already called and he's like take your time but like not really <laughs> I was thinking of buying balloons, but look at this line. No, thank you. Okay, I went into Party City, and wow, they got everything. Oh, that is so cute for Max. So it's now finally Valentine's Day. We're gonna make a Valentine's breakfast. Well, obviously, we're almost done. We got Valentine's waffles, and I made Valentine heart-shaped eggs. That's Enrique and I are gonna have yeah. the edges. The trimmings? Yeah. The girls are pretty excited for it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that should cool. explode it. Yeah. Oh, this is getting fat. I think I overpacked it. We add a little bit of red coloring to this mix, and you, you cannot even tell in the waffles actually. You just give them poison for nothing. I think he's gonna put some hair on them. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's adorable. They look like George Washington. Oh. A little bit of um, riz. We have some riz on. <laughs> Sit down, girlies. Ready? Here are your Valentine plate. It's so fun. And a Valentine kept up. And I save us a house. Yeah. <laughs> that looks yummy. While the girls sway outside playing, having fun. Oh, wait. Where's Olivia? Oh, she's right there. I think Karen is getting the presents ready. All right, this is what we got yesterday. This is Victoria's. What do you think? I think it does look cute. It's super cute. I, I added the rose. Oh no, it fell. And then this is Olivia's. She's got the little matching one for her doll. Vitamins. Vitamins. <laughs> We're gonna call them in because they have no idea. What should we say? Cupid came and dropped something for you? Nah. Niñas, come here. What? Happy Valentine's. That's Olivia's and Victoria's on this side. Wow! A flower! A flower! He's going over and Yeah, he cannot wait. Wait! Oh! Bro, my toy! <laughs> okay, play the song. No, the song. Cute. It's not a, it's a ring. She said it was a, she, that's how you know they never have candy. She said, why did you give me a chupon, which is a pacifier? <laughs> a binky. <laughs> it's a ring. Why you got a dodi? <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Wait. To continue this romantic day, we are gonna go to El Torito, which is a Mexican restaurant. No, not a Mexican, a Mexican store because Enrique had the brilliant idea of making a carne asada. So we're gonna grill outside. We're gonna cook outside, which is one of Victoria's favorite things to do ever. And Valentine's is basically about the kids now. Even though it's about love, it's mostly about our kids. I have a share, Mom, Daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's El Torito. And El Torito in Spanish, Spanish lesson is a- A little bowl. A little bowl, yeah. They have the best meats here, beside Enrique. <laughs> he didn't hear me. Oh, 
all my children in their PJs. Bye, Lamai! Okay. Ooh, look at all this. Max, look how you... I think I... Ooh, fajita lemon pepper. With the sirloin. Really? Okay, then get that one. Oh, porque dice la mejor. That's right there. por favor. Dos. ¿Quieres variedad o nada más la misma? La más suave. Okay. Saboreante. Pues la mejor. La faquita si lo dice la mejor. Ya. Ah, ok, ok. Máximo. Sí. One second. Thank you. Went in the kitchen. Niño, niño. All these beautiful veggies. Max always gags with um, corn. Max. Max. <laughs> no. We got nopales, we got the carne, and Max is like a crazy man just walking everywhere. And to get, show him the corn. What his reaction to corn? Max. Max. Oh, never mind. Yes? <laughs> but anyway, he throws up with corn. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. <laughs> Okay, you know how they were on the the slingshot today? Well, Enrique's friend rented it right for Valentine's. But look at not even two hours later and what? What? a flat what? tire. So that he left it outside of our house. He's gonna find a way to fix it. I guess well, they got, they had an appointment, so they have to do their thing. And then uh, when he's back, he'll figure it out. Hey, get off the slingshot! Hey, we're finally after. I can't remember how many days ago we said we were gonna buy the things to get the things to hang the things. We did buy them. We did buy them that day that we said, but we haven't hung them until today. I told Enrique it's time. It just feels right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hang this big mirror. And a lot of difficulties arose. Like I wanted it more in the middle, but something about a stud, so we cannot put it in the middle. But I, I think right there's fine. Ah, shit. He's struggling. They're all doing their own thing. And they're watching. <laughs> what the heck are we watching? <laughs> now I'm having a glass of champagne, celebrating life, celebrating all the blessings we've had this year. And this is gonna be a good year. I can feel it. <laughs> It'll be a good year if Enrique can put this mirror up. Whoa, he put it up! It's gonna be a good year. Oh, he took it back down. Mirror is officially done. Next is we're gonna put the dining. Where's the other one? We've had these for like two years and probably everybody and their mom has these because they're from Target mm. and they still have them for sale. The debate right now is do we want them equal or like one a little higher than the other for some... Ooh, I actually like the extreme of one lower and one higher. It makes it look like a bigger art piece. Yeah, I like that. And this one's extra special because Enrique's mom made this how many years ago when you were like five? 96. 96, yeah. Zero, 96. So his mom is actually really good at painting. And Enrique is too. Oh, that was an Etsy sale. All right. Pardon us. Okay, look at the detail, how good she is. But Enrique said that he wanted this painting one day and she gave it to us for our anniversary. It's one of those things that you grow up, like maybe your mom has a type of furniture or like a piece of decoration that you've seen up until this day, like, yeah. I don't know, it can be like a little figurine or whatever. For me, it was this. I remember seeing it sometimes, you know, before fall, you would just sit down and just look at it and really analyze it. So, it resonates with me. That's why yeah, I and he loves it. And now it's in our home. Yes. He's tall and, and handsome as hell. He's so bad, but he does it so well. Now we're putting these in the other house, which is kind of weird. It says oregano and thyme. We had him in the guest bathroom. I mean, why would you have that in the bathroom? But we just liked how it looked. So now we're putting it close to the kitchen, which seems more appropriate. Ooh, wow, this house is looking fancy. She's covering her boobies. Bye. What are you making? Fajitas. 